Wondering how to get the Death Knight Twin Axes? Well, gamers, have I got a guide for you. First off, we're going to head to the Fog Rift Catacombs, which is found here. Let me zoom out. There's the Fog Rift Fort. There's the Great Bridge. Head up that way. Drop in. You are going to have to beat the boss down here. So if you can't do that, I'm going to give you the recommendation everyone gives you, and that is to get good. Drop down there. Get the er the Sight of Grace. Go through here. You're taking a left. So left right here. Yep. Watch out on the ceilings. A lot of crap on the ceilings in this one. Boom. Probably won't kill you in a shot, but never know. Also, I'm not going to get you all the items. I'm just going to get you to the boss so you can get the weapons and you can explore the rest after you've beat it. Watch out for this guy. And I do recommend clearing anybody out from behind you because they will take you down. With the exception of these mages because if you don't have a bow, I don't know how you're going to get them. But keep going. Down here, again, wait until you're in the stairs. Turn around, take out all the enemies behind you. It's just going to make it easier on yourself. Also, you know, if you got that flame, you can heal yourself up. In here, the left is the direction we want to go, but to the right, there is a cookbook. That cookbook will give you more incantations. I'm still trying to figure out who to give it to. Just watch out because there's three of these guys, and I died in here trying to get that. So, you know, watch yourself. Grab it. It's one, I'm not exactly sure. I would assume a dragon knight somewhere, but I'm going to have to go find it. I actually looked in my crafting section because that's what I thought was going to happen. But anyways, keep going. See, you can already see the spikes there, but this one we can actually get on top of if, you know, you time it right, which I don't hear here, but that's cool. You can climb up a different way. But if you climb to the top, make it all the way, all the way to the end by mistake, this is what you get. A glow, a great ghost glow wart. So if you need some mimic tier upgrades, take the thing up. If not, drop down below it and we're going to go and cross down here. Another elevator. The ne This floor down below sucks. So you take the elevator, clear out all your enemies as usual. I think there's three or four in this room. This one for sure, because if you have enemies behind you, they're going to get you locked into a cubby and you're going to die because you're basically going through a room where it's like ceiling collapse. You need to be hidden. Ceiling collapse. You need to be hidden. And if these guys are on your ass, it's not going to do you any good. So go this way. Take a left. Uh, and then this guy's shooting a bunch of miss. I don't like these mage guys. Thought I could take cover there. You can't. So run in. Run to the left side, I should say. Don't do what I just did. Go to the left where that ghost is going. That's where we're going. The second one is a trap. You can go in it a little bit, but don't go in it too deep or else you will fall. There you go. Spikes will fall on your enemies too if they are behind you. Before you get to the maze, there are three more of those beast people so be careful clear them out and then go up top kill the mage and take the loot up there but if you go back down a different side so i cleared the left but not the right and i forgot there's three more of them there i ended up dying here too because yeah camera but clear them out take the only place left to go which is the archway on the left of the mage careful of the thing falling on your head and down below, you'll be able to face off with the Death Knight with Twin Axes. And if you beat him, my only suggestion here is raw, pure aggression, because that's what I did. You will get the Death Knight's Twin Axes. Uh, I'm still looking for more, but for now, that will do it for me. Later, Gators.